Example 6. 3x subtract 7 is 23. So we want to isolate x. So first we're going to deal with the separate number, which is the subtract 7. So we're going to do that by adding 7 to both sides. And we end up with 3x equal to 30. These 7's cancel out and we have 23 plus 7 to give us 30. Now this 3 is attached to our x by multiplication, so the opposite is to divide. So we divide both sides by 3 and get x equal to 10. We're going to check our solution, x equal to 10 in the original equation, 3x subtract 7 equals 23. So our left side was 3x minus 7 and our right side is 23. 3 times 10 subtract 7 on the left gives us 30 subtract 7, which is 23. Left side equals right side, so x equal to 10 is a solution. Example 7. Solve for time. We have the relationship that speed is distance divided by time, or s equals d over t if we use variables to represent speed, distance, and time. When you see a fraction, we're going to perform the operation that will get rid of the denominator, the denominator being a divide. So we're going to multiply both sides by t to get rid of the denominator. After we multiply both sides by t, we end up with s times t, st, equal to d, because a times t and a divide t will equal 1. They cancel each other out. Here t is multiplied by s, so we're going to isolate t by using the operation to remove the s by dividing s on both sides. So after we do that, s divided by s is 1, it cancels out, we're left with t, and d divided by s is on our right hand side. So t equals d over s, so the formula is solved for t, time is distance divided by speed. Many equations will involve more than one variable term. Before you can properly solve an equation, it must only have one instance of the variable for which you are trying to solve. That's a fancy way of saying collect all your variables together before solving. So in x over 3 equals 17, this is a one variable term because there's only one term that has an x involved. Negative 2 times negative x equals 102 another one variable term. Only one of the terms involves x. However, if we have 3x plus 5 equals 153 subtract 2x, this is a two variable terms because we have a 3x on one side that has an x and a negative 2x on the other. Two terms have an x. And 3x plus 27 plus x over 5 equals 1 minus x is a three variable terms equation because we have 3x here, an x over 5 here, and a negative x here. There are three terms which contain an x. So before we start solving, we're going to do the following. 1. You must get rid of any fractions in which a variable is present. 2. You must expand any brackets that are present. And 3. You must collect and combine like terms. After completing these three steps, then you will have an equation with one variable term and you can proceed as such to solve.